showing off his moustache. Ah. I think they all still live in November. That's exactly it. People don't understand that reference. The month <laughs> of November. The men, a lot, a lot of men around the world grow uh, mustaches um, to raise awareness for testicular cancer. So we call it Movember. And next up is our reigning world champion, Jonathan Dudes Charlet, as you can see on his helmet, out of Chevy Mont Blanc. Give a little hug and kiss to the uh, friends and family back home. Big brother Babs, as always, he's here with his best buddy, JP. Off and riding is Dudes. What a complete rider. Oh no, <laughs> already starting with a with a butt check that's, that's not his see. style normally no. no he won this event last year reigning world champion reigning event champion here in by nor arcalis little butt check can he uh, he's gonna have to make up for it very complete rider as i wanted to explain just before very solid riding big mountains he's a mountain guide in chamonix so he's uh, for sure used to navigating through rocks and steep parts as we see right now. Very comfortable in all kinds of terrain yeah. and mixing it up with freestyle elements. And yeah, of course has those freestyle tricks. Started off uh, his career as one of the uh, freestyle kids out of Sham, going for a little backside 180. And straight onto a rock. a rock. There we go, that's just one of those things, the landings, they look clean. It's not speaking for his experience. He thought he will get away with it but it's really rocky, as I said, in the course preview. Uh, trying to land backwards like that into the POW is hard enough, but landing on rocks a little bit too hard for the control for... Dudes, that was Sending a brilliant it. front side air, though. That was great. Ah! Oh! And then just hit another rock there. Nothing he could do about that. It looked like now, a, a wide open I hope open he's okay, that. because that was quite, uh, a, quite a fall, quite an impact. No, he's okay. He's but a he's tough kid. Okay. That's good. That's right. So our... Once again, reigning world champ, and actually two-time world champion because he won the Swatch Freeride World Tour in 2012 as well. There's the line. So once again, riders left. Looking for uh, some creative jumps and just getting unlucky with the, the snow conditions today. And as you can see, that's uh, not going to be the best score of dude's career now you can see the trend from the judges already everything in red and orange it's not what you would expect from a double world champion but uh, he's also a person of all or nothing that's exactly it he, he kind of lives by the same motto as a uh, three-time free ride world champ Xavier Delarue they're both the Frenchmen and it's go big or go home and uh, you know usually they go big and sometimes it just doesn't work 